This is the Renting Bananas Podcast. It sound right, boy. Some level, all humans are broad. We're all multivariate, but we get summarized in pithy ways in our lives. And at some deep level, we all know that's not true. That really spoke to me. Our minds are so curious about so many different things, and I think it applies to you in so many ways as well. We need to go back into like the times of like ancient Greeks. <laughs> you go to school, you go to war, you come back, you own a business, then you get into the Senate, and then you're a philosopher, <laughs> right? Like having an arc <laughs> to life. Resumes will look really really different in the future for as long as we have been having sex we have been you know creating art dick pics and nudes chris <laughs> extra super old painting of a glory hole yes hells to the yeah like a virgin touch for the very first time wow that was direct <sighs> What? Like what, what? What did you do? How did you do that? A girl has this thing that if she loses it, you know, things are just not the same. Holy! F I'm not about the pain life. Spanking's good though, right? Yeah, everyone likes a little. Uh, what? Another uh, fantasy that comes up quite often is anal, right? So the question is, Chris, have you done it? It's going to be a whole journey for us to learn about how we can best put our money somewhere to make it grow itself. I'm being very dramatic here, but famous rich guy. Other races that don't find Asian guys attractive. Systemic desexualization of Asian men. Oh no, why the hell do you not date Asian guys? <laughs> With all of our Asian male listeners, I'm not an Asian guy hater. No. Here are three Asian stereotypes. I'm failing my Asian test over fetishizing of Asian women. I think in the future, companies will have to be more fluid in terms of the size because of the atomization of gig economies. That sounds like a world I want to live in. That cultural aspect will become so much more important that you'll need someone full time. Virtual gets brought up quite often now. It's, it's difficult <laughs> to, to really predict what would happen to this. But um, a few things we can say for certain. In many ways, AR is kind of bridging that gap right now. Hyper reality, right? Like, how do we make things even more real, right? Can't wait to be part of the revolution. It might be televised, not sure. I think the cheating gods on Chris's side. Well, at that point in my life, I was only like 21, right? Okay, can I just say, I think it's really brave that you just talked about what you talked about. I think a part of you betrayed yourself. Doing things like that, is definitely self-sabotage, right? That was happiness, mm. right? Like, that that's the thing, right? It was like, you just try to get away with a lot of shit. I think that would just actually scare me. You, you were afraid that you would hurt somebody. I get a text. Yeah, she was like, yeah, I'm pregnant. Does she keep it? Do you keep it? You know, it was like absurd to me. I felt like I'm going to die. This is how I died. I think a lot of people go through this shit. You just don't hear about it. What the do I do? What is this common ground that we can stand on and agree on? You know what, Chris is We should just have this baby and we'll just get married. Seemed like it was freedom sucked out of my life. Let's just learn though, like on a serious note. It sound right, boy.